All right, I'm going to make a short videos about this um, graph function. Um, for part A, it's actually quite easy. But part B is a little bit of the transformation of the graph. So I want to talk more about part B. All right, but since my, my student can't do the part A and B, so I just decide the whole question here. I just discussed the whole question here. Okay, what's the meaning of F2? F2 over here, it just mean what if the y value or, or fx value when x equals to 2? So when x equals to 2, you can just, because you can see this is fx, right? That's mean fx, you can see x change to 2, isn't it? So x equals to 2. Then you can just from your graph over there, you see what is your x equals to 2. x equals to 2, your y get 1, isn't it? So 1 is basically the y value or fx value. So therefore, this one I believe is just one mark. So f2 is equal to one. You cannot say x is equal to one, which is which is wrong because x is equal to two. So the f2 is equal to one. All right, same idea to this one. Um, for f inverse two, yeah, I'm not sure this one is he do or his teacher do for him one. Yeah, basically one, of course, first thing you can draw the inverse function if you want to, and then sub into two. But we know f inverse, if throw to the other side, then we will get 2 equals to fx. Okay, fx is a y value. That means when y equals to 2, what is your x value? So you can just go into the 2 here for y. You can see my x value is 4, isn't it? So yeah, x value is 4. Yeah, you can do like this. Or you can do the inverse function. If I want to draw the inverse function, right, we know inverse function, right, they always reflect, always reflects on the line y equals to x on the line y equals to x and the question already drew the y equals to x for us already you can see y equals to x so if i want to draw a reflection i kind of can see this is uh four two so you'll go to two four so the line will actually look like this okay so you can see he's actually, you can dot, dot the line is a mirror. So you can see he's actually reflect there already. Then if I want to do F inverse two, right? That's mean right now my X value is two. So my X value is two. My F inverse will be four also. So it's still equals to four. Okay. So I hope, um, yeah, you understand about this. Okay, but yeah, depend what the question want you to find. So normally, um. I think you better draw this thing because the question actually want you to because it's equals to x right because here you can see when it equals to x equals to 4 the whole thing is equals to x right so x also equals to 4 so both will actually lead you to the same answer so you don't need to worry you want to draw out the inverse function or not okay but since later here they actually ask you to draw the inverse function and I just did okay so you just do a reflection on the line y equals to x so this one is no problem Okay, then how about it's want to sketch the graph about f bracket negative x. Okay, this one, so you have two type. Huh? I want you to rec uh, recognize these two type. So if you see negative inside the bracket, this one mean reflection on y exit. If you see the negative in front of the fx, this one mean reflection on x exit. Yeah, you can try to type any equation into the Google, uh, Google Graph Calculator. They will literally teach you, uh, sh show you the pattern that you want, uh, you want. So in these cases, I want to draw the reflection on the y exit, right? So you can see this is what happened. I, maybe I change other, other color to make you uh, understand it better. Okay, so this one is like four, four, two, right? So he will go to negative four and two. So my line will look like this. Of course, use the ruler to draw. La. You should draw a straight line. Okay. Or maybe it's too thick that I can make it thinner a little bit. Can I? Um, okay. I do not know how to make it thinner. Oh, okay. Maybe this one. Yeah. Uh, it's ob about the same. About the same. But it doesn't matter. La. So this one is the graph that one. You can see he actually reflection on the y-axis, isn't it? So he reflection on the y-axis. Use the ruler to draw. So if today they ask me to draw negative uh, fx, then I will do reflection on the y-axis. Okay, this one is the uh, negative fx. Okay, then next is they ask us to draw fx 
minus 3. This one minus 3, that's just mean the whole fx graph is going down 3 units. So you can see this one, you can imagine this point going down 3 units. 1, 2, 3. This point is now is here. And then from 0 going down 3 units is negative 3, right? So we're just connecting them. So this one is fx minus 3. So same idea is fx plus 3. That means whole graph going to going up 3 units. Okay, this one you can see all of them is actually coming down 3 units. Then we're done. Okay, so it's not too hard for this uh, simple uh, graph transformation. Anyways, I hope you find this uh, small video, a short video is actually useful to you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.